Hello, I'm George Latimer. I love this home of ours, Westchester, and that's the place to begin with what I want to share with you. I was born and raised here on the south side of Mount Vernon. I've lived in this county for 58 of my 63 years, raised our daughter here, and made my life here for the last 30 plus years on the Sound Shore, next door to Playland in Rye. I've worked in my corporate career along the Platinum Mile, I-287, in White Plains, in Tarrytown. My father spent his work life in Mamaroneck. My mother was born and raised in Harrison. Westchester is a part of me, the people, the land that rises from the Hudson River and flattens to the Long Island Sound, from the wooded northern Westchester to the busy streets of southern Westchester. In addition to my business career, I've been fortunate to serve my neighbors in public office as an unpaid city councilman in Rye, for 13 years as a member of the County Board of Legislators, including four years as the chairman of the board. Serving in both houses of the state legislature as an assemblyman and now as a New York State Senator. In government, I fought tirelessly for our best interests. Westchester's greatest asset is its people. Smart and successful, hardworking in all fields of endeavor, trying to build a better life for themselves and their families. And they range from wealthy to middle class to poor. They come in all ethnicities and demographics. We are a diverse lot, and that is our strength. Lately, in our county, as in our country, we have been divided in our beliefs. We have heard the siren call of ideology and have found in our differences in thought and person those who would create an us versus them way of interaction. Some of us have allowed people to lead us in resentment of others as a means of gaining and holding power. It's reflected in our politics and over the last few years in the way we have let our leaders govern us. Political ideology, not pragmatic problem solving, has led our county government to make bad decisions, which has balanced our budgets like a house of cards and rearranged our purposes to benefit some, but not others. We have accepted that the political ambition of an individual will drive our policies in one direction, regardless of the human cost of putting that political ideology ahead of people, or the long-term impacts of policies done for short-term benefit. That has to stop. We are mortgaging our families' futures to make today look rosy for the moment. We forget that our fathers and mothers built a big, inclusive Westchester that led the state and the nation in innovation. They took the long view of life and built structures to last for decades, and we've replaced it with a narrow vision that satisfies a narrow political agenda. I want a Westchester that grows our economy for everyone, not just for some. I want our public services to benefit the many, not the few. I want our government to be on the side of the forgotten person, not just the well-connected to stand up for the environment, to stand up for women's health rights, to stand up against the culture of gun violence, to stand up for sound education, and to reject the negativity and the meanness that's coming out of Washington, D.C. these days. We have to change our thinking, and we have to change our leadership. I've decided this year to run for Westchester County Executive. I bring a lifetime of business and government and volunteer experience to right the wrongs of the last few years, to take us off the ideological standard and return us to the practical problem-solving standard that made us great. I propose to do this with historic inclusion of the people and the officials of this county, not working just within a narrow group of supporters. All of this will not be easy, but in the coming weeks I will reach out from Pelham to Peekskill to share a positive vision for our future in the face of very difficult times ahead some generated by Washington and Albany, and some created by our own mistakes. And to put us back on the right track, that includes Mount Vernon and Rye, and all the places in between, as one county. I'm George Latimer, and I ask for your consideration and your support as your next Westchester County Executive. Thank you for listening.